So hello there people, welcome, welcome to the stream, yes it's this camera over here, camera number one, not camera number two. <laughs> well I hope you're having a good weekend there people, so yeah, just checking my mic levels out the corner of my eye, and also I've got my live chat over there, so you may see me glancing over there from time to time, but in today's stream people, uh, yeah I've been putting in the live chat what I'm hoping to cover, so I'm hoping to cover off the bubble ducks, now I've got quite a lot of insect bases that are using the normal pipe, but I'm going to try and replace their legs with the bubble pipe. After that, I've got a little bit of speculation. Actually, I'm probably going to do the community spotlights after that and talk about some of the channels and what I watch and why I like watching them from my channel wall. And then I'm going to be doing a little bit of speculation, but I've also got some PSVR2 news for you people. So stay tuned if any of that interests you. So without nothing to do, let's jump on in. Let's get those bubble ducks. So here we go. I'm actually in game right now. So here I am sitting on top of my Alpha Factor. There we go. Let's um. Okay. Let's come out of camera mode. There we go. I'm up and on my feet. Well, let's leg on over to here. Let's have a look. Let's just make sure all my levels are coming out okay. Yeah, I think everything's all good. Hope you can all hear me well there, and everything is looking fine. Well, hello there, Distortion. Howdy. Well, howdy, Distortion. We've got Adam Mac in the house. Hello there, Adam Mac. And Wolfie in the house. We've also got uh, Ricey Starship Emporium was first into the live chat. So thank you very much, people, for being here. Holy Fuchs here as well. I love his name. Freaking awesome. Right, so here we go. That's great. Exotic items. 2,000, you say. Have I got enough? I've got 38. Fastened. Right, yes, we'll have you. Bubble Dart. Lovely. Jubbly. Perchicated. Lovely. Sweet. Thank you, Johnny Five. Oh, he's got like a little mini galaxy in his hand there, people. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, every single system's got a has got a ringed planet, so that could have been anywhere. Right, let's head on <laughs> let's head on over to the teleporter. Let's go and hit on up my antifreeze ant base. And yeah, I'm gonna be using these new bubble darts. Lovely jubbly. Let's fly on in then. Got it. He's still doing that weird sort of skip and jump thing inside of the Nexus, isn't it? I'm wondering whether they're going to add in an extra floor or something of landing pads. I don't know how that's going to work, because at the moment we still get ships landing inside ships and all sorts of other sorts of shenanigans going on inside of our, our freaking Nexuses. Yes, we do. Short bases. Let's go all the way down here. And where's my antifreeze ant? There it is. Yeah, my ice cream base, I call it. I make all my ice creams here, people. So you see his legs. I mean, you probably can't, actually. It's probably quite small if you're on a mobile device. And his antennas. I'm going to be replacing those out with the bubble ducks. I don't know what we need to craft the bubble ducks. I'm hoping it's just carbon. Well, fingers crossed. Hopefully it's not freaking glass because that means I'm gonna have to go tunnel and get a load of freaking silicate powder or something. Then again I do grow frost crystal here which I think also turns into glass. So even either way we should be okay. Sweet! Who else we got just joined? We've got Harris Bornstein. Hello there. And we've got Quananassis. If that's how you pronounce your name. And YouTube. Well, hello there, Quanesis from YouTube. And we've got General Guard. Nice. Okay, right, here we are. We've arrived to Cated. Let's go and have a look, see. Right, let's just go into build camera, shall we? Let's have a look for these new bubble pipes. Now, where would they be? Are you under here? Decorative technology. Is this not interior? Must be under. There they are. Bubble duct. Lovely. Oh, fudge. We are going to need glass. We are going to need glass. Okay. Well, I think we're good. I think we're good because I think I'm in the right base for glass. Let's just head on up here. Let's go and pluck some of these plants. So here we go. If you are in need of glass and you haven't got your own frost crystal farm, I mean, I haven't got a lot growing here. But I can give you the coordinates for here. If you want to come and pinch these plants, the only thing is they're going to take a little while to grow now because I've just got them freaking half inched them all, haven't I? But I'm fairly sure on Reddit or the Interstellar Index, over on Facebook, on Facebook, yes, you we're going to find like frost crystal farms or glass farms or even living glass farms would be good enough. But most people who grow farms of any kind have usually got this in there. But I give you my coordinates anyway. So here we go. I put them in the bottom corner of the screen now. So there we go. Let's just move that slightly, like that. There we go. I'll read them out to you. It's a double eagle, a double flux capacitor, followed by a sunset, a rocket, an eclipse, a waypoint, a reflection, a beetle, a whale, and a boatman boat face. Awesome. There we go. We've got all of those. Now I can just craft all this metal inside of uh, glass inside of my exosuit, I believe. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Let's get all this up to there. How much glass can I make from just one little harvest from there? 
That's a lot of glass, Captain Steve. Are you sure you need that much glass? We're going to have 50. 50 glass. Nice. Okay, right. I think we're ready. I think we're ready to at least replace the antennites with 50 freaking glass. Okay. Awesome. So, yeah, you need glass to actually craft them. So, not only does it cost you all of those freaking quicksilvers, it's also going to cost you in a lot of glass creation. Yes, glass creation. Where are they gone? There they are. Okay, brilliant. Let's go into camera mode. Lovely. And they do just snap straight onto the existing pipes. This is good news. Okay, well, let's just delete that pipe, that pipe, that pipe. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this in so it meets up with the antennae piece that was already there. There we go. Oh, doesn't that look freaking groovy already? That does look freaking... Come on, that looks freaking sweet, doesn't it? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to leave that bottom one there. That looks... Freaking awesome! Okay, right, okay, brilliant. <laughs> it's the simple things in life that make me happy, people. Okay, right, um, let's pop back into camera mode. And let's uh, let's go do the other, let's do the other antennae. Oh, that looks freaking awesome! All right, I'm, I'm liking these. Yeah, it has to be said, I'm the, I, I was just whinging about how much Quicksilver they cost. Worth every freaking penny! Yes, they were. Yeah, yeah, I would have paid double. Uh, okay, okay. Well, then, you know, I had the quicksilver there, so of course I'm going to say that. All right, why aren't you bending? Bend, damn you! Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, fine, let's do that then. Now, now let's try and bend it. There we go, bend it like Beckham. Chicka pow! We now have alien antennas done! Oh, that looks freaking sweet. You know what? I might just, I might just leave the antennas as done and not bother with the legs for now, um, because the legs will look too see-through on this biome, and that's going to look really good at night time. Let's just go into night mode. Let's just go into camera. <laughs> it is the simple things in life, people. Look at that. Oh, isn't that freaking glorious? That is really, really lovely. Yes, you look freaking splendid, my little ant. Yes, you do. Right, okay, well, I better re upload my base then. Where did I put the poxy base computer? I'm shite when it comes to base computer placement, people. I lose my own base computers all the freaking time. Right, well, it's over there. There it is. It's over here. Awesome. Got you. Let's go and re upload my antifreeze ant. Nice. CWW Volcanus. Afternoon, everyone. Do you think we'll get the emoji from Sean this week? I've got some speculation coming for you, CW Volcanus. Don't you go away because. I've got some really weird speculation on this one, where we may have already got the emoji. Yes, you heard me right. Um, I don't think... I don't, I'm about 90% sure we haven't got the emoji, but there's a 10% chance we may have already got it. And I'll show you why, and I'll give you my thoughts and feelings on it. Um, but before I do, let me just show you something quickly here. Okay, so when you get your pet out, so one of these little pets, let's just call it any freaking pet. There we go, we've got Norman. If I um, go over here, you've got like the heart reading over there. So let's just gently pet him. And you see the heart rating is now going up. So, yeah, I've got little love hearts going on. I'm going to give him a treat. There we go. Just remember that there was those little love hearts there. And after he flies off, when he... Go, go on, go on, Norman. Oh. Go, go. Fly like the wind, Norman. Fly. Fly, my pretty fly. Now, when you look for your pet icon, it is also... Oh, it's got like a, it's got like a little uh, thingy, like a little collar. But then when they get low on love, sometimes it turns into a heart as well. So yeah, after the, you, yeah, let's just get a pre let's get a creature out that I don't love as much. <laughs> okay. I did, well, Norman didn't have many hearts, but I really don't love this guy. This guy's freaking yeah, angry kitten. Right, go over there, angry kitten. Go on. Yeah, no one loves you. Go over that way. Yeah. So he goes over there. And when it goes low on love, he gets like a little red love heart come up above him. Or it, I think it does anyway. Maybe it doesn't. All right, well, I don't know what he's doing, but off he goes. Yeah. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does at times. But anyhow, let's go into here. Let's have a quick look how he is. Bum, 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 angry kitten. I don't think it says how much. Yeah, no, it doesn't really, does it? All right, let's go see him for a second. Meow. Let's go see angry kitten. Angry kitten. Oh no, it, see, it, he's got a green heart as well, so he's frick, he's happy as Larry as well. Darn it, Novo Gaming has just dropped me 10 US dollars. Well, thank you, Novo Gaming. Much appreciated. Heck yes, this Lutamundo, you just done something freaking awesome. Yes, I overspent on my freaking studio this month, people, so I bought brand new mics and lights and 
disc plates. Disc plates, freaking awesome. Freaking love disc plate. Heck yes. Um, yeah, I've actually emailed them and said, look, you know, I, I like your product that much. I would love it if you would sponsor my channel. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they let, they, they take me up. Because basically what I've asked for is if I can have my own discount code, you know, like Cap Steve or something that you guys can key in and get disc plates cheap. Because... <laughs> Beautiful. No Man's Sky artwork on metal plating, all anodized. You can go for matte or gloss finish. Freaking great. Anyhow, yeah, because I, I would happily advertise a product that I actually love and like myself, and I do love and like these disc plates. In fact, I've even opened a disc plate store and sent them a few designs that I've made. I could, I could probably show you the designs I've made, actually. Anyhow, oh, I don't want to go in there yet. I need to I need to make a little save. So let's make a little save. So that's the bubble ducks covered off, isn't it, people? And I've just uploaded my new base. And I must say, bubble ducks, if you haven't got them and you're a base builder, they really do add a little bit of shine to your base. So there's that. Freaking excellent. Right, OK. Well, I can probably come out of No Man's Sky now. I don't think I've got anything else to show you guys in No Man's Sky verse. Well, I'll just leave it on. I can stand in the base, can't I? All right. Anyhow... And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just show you over on the podcasty screen. Actually, I will turn the PlayStation off, and then I can use this second monitor. Okay, there we go. Let's turn that one off. Let's go back to me and me while I'm doing that. There you go. Brilliant. Now you can see me in lovely big format. We go turn off PlayStation Five, and if I just switch my monitor to that one, well, you may have got a little flicker there, but I now have two screens. I can turn that speaker off or else you're going to get an echo. Lovely. Well, here I am. And, uh, yeah, oh, we've got this going on in here. Let's pause that. I've got my live stream there. Lovely. Awesome. Sweet. Oh, we've got Scottish Rod in the house. Well, hello there, Scottish Rod. I can uh, you know, just drop a link to Rod there. Ha! <laughs> Pink will beat your dirt, Wolfie. All right, okay. Uh, right, so here we go. Uh, what was I going to do? Yeah, I was going to go into podcast and I will show you my designs that I've done in um, in here. There you go. I was making a thumbnail earlier, so you probably can see that on the screen right now, can you? No, no, actually, can you? Oh, well, well, one second. I need to change that to main screen. So that's laptop screen, capture screen, screen input. Can you see it? No, you can't. Great. All right, well, let's try turning that off. And let's see if you get it now. Right, OK. Uh, is it not working? It's not blinking. Working. Darn it! Sometimes this Streamlabs, it loses settings every now and again. So what I'm going to have to do is go into one of these. Um, you can't even see what I'm doing right now, can you? Which is a bit pants. Laptop settings. Properties. Let's see if we can get that onto screen two. Uh, screen two. There we go. Done. And then the screen capture. And I'll put that onto screen one. Properties. And we'll do that for primary. That one there. Done. OK. Right. Well, I think you can see my laptop screen. Well, my, my main screen now. So I did have... Oh, look. That's a bit weird. It's got rid of my... Um... All right. Fine. We'll get rid of that. I'll show you my designs that I've done quite quickly. If I can get this to go full screen. There we are. Right, so if I go to open, uh, I'm going to libraries, pictures. Yeah, you can see this now, can't you? You can see all this. This is great. OK, display, display, display. So I did these designs here. So this is this is a very, very antique version of freaking Photoshop. And for whatever reason, it's decided not to bother rendering in any of my images. Oh, for fudge sake. <laughs> What the fudge is going? That's not normal. There's me. All right, well, fine. I'll try one more time to show you my display images just inside of Windows blinking display or whatever. Let's go for this one then. So we go. Let's hit. Let's do all of them. Let's just go to open and let's see if Windows will let me. Sh there we go. So there we are. There's one that I've done. Would you like that on your wall, people? Hopefully you would. And uh, I've got this one. Yep. So basically, I've I've gone into Photoshop with these and I've added like. It's called paint dabs, so it almost looks like it's hand painted when you zoom right in. Obviously, I can't do that on here, but yeah, it looks like it's been hand painted, even though it's an in-game shot. So yeah, and there's one by the Normandy. So hopefully that's going to appeal to multiple cross-platform. You know what I mean? So just four designs. I've submitted them. Hopefully um, they might accept me, which would be nice. And then people can actually purchase my artwork, Captain Steve artwork. That'd be pretty darn freaking sweet. Right. So there's that now. Uh, so I was going to do my channel, wasn't I? So let's go over to here. Let's go into my channel. And we'll go onto my channel wall. So community. 
Here we go. No, not that one. Channels. That's the one I wanted. Channels I watched the most. And we got down to here. I tried to show you Scott Gost Gost's channel the other day, but my PC wasn't capturing my PC audio, was it? At the moment, we've got that going on. I think it should work now. I've got another audio stream. I tested it before I went live, but I also tested this screen capture and that was working as well. And then it decided not to when I swapped from my PlayStation to PC. Scoreboy error. OK, let's go into here then. So this is Scott Gust. Now, Scott Gust covers off a lot of No Man's Sky, Star Citizen, Elite Dangerous and a few other bits and bobs like early indie game access. And there's a little bit about there as well. But what I like about Scott Gust, what I really like about him is his voice. You think my voice is nice. His voice is like frickin' butter. It's beautiful. Yeah. So let's just Let's just hit up one of his videos. Oh no, I, I think he's um, I think he's covering off somebody else there, not him. Let's just hit this one. Let's see if we, if he talks in this one. Here we go. Oh, got an advert. Let's just turn that down for a second. Let's just see if poor PC audio is picking up. PC audio is not bloody picking up, is it? Okay, well, is that because I turned it down on there or something? Let's um, let's just do that then. All right, well, let's just get it through my speaker then. Fudging heck. No, it's not even coming out of my bloody speaker now, is it? All right, well, that's freaking weird. OK, well, that's probably because I just turned the sound off. All right, fine, let's turn it back on. Trips in okay. Star Citizen that can be named, as in the names show up on the side of the ship. So if you go into your account and twiddle down and take a look and there it says rename ship or name ship and it tells you how many you can in fact name. Well we're going to try this out. Let's try this out. Okay? Because <laughs> you know there's so many scams out there. Splash screen. Start screen. Let's go. You know I think we'll run. Let's run. Run 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 run. <sighs> Can we have a heart attack? I, you know, I can't, I can't recall. Can we actually reach the point where you collapse? I'm not sure. Anyways, look how Budimus, Bud Budimus, <laughs> Budimus scam. Look how Budimus if he's doing it and like that. Ooh, let me get some Coolio shots. Okay, run, run, run. <laughs> Check out the NPCs. No. I think you get the idea. The guy has got a beautiful voice and he does awesome content. If you're into space games, he covers all the main three there, really, in my opinion. So, yeah, there's probably others out there that people say, no, that's not the main three, there's others. Well, there probably are, but those ones are the ones that, you know, people in the No Man's Sky universe gravitate towards, I would say. So, yeah, he covers all three, and he's non-biased about which ones he likes and which ones he doesn't. He's also got a lot of stuff on here about his own mod that he's done, that he calls Crimea. And some of the things that he's done with some of the planets in this is freaking mental. Now, I don't really know how to spell Chimera, Chimera, something like that, and Scott Gust. Let's see if we can just find one of his videos from searching. It's been a long time since he's done one of these. So yeah, there you go. He's made a jungle planet. So here you go, I'll hit up his jungle planet. So have a quick watch of this. Hi everyone, and welcome to another Chimera episode. In Chimera, we modify No Man's Sky and see what kind of procedural greatness we can get from the No Man's Sky engine. Uh, today we are in What is this? 1.0? I think this is 1.0 with my Chimera testing. And I made a preview of this world, like a trailer. And I was so disappointed. Like, it looked so cool when I rendered it. The quality looked amazing. Then I exported it to YouTube and it just fell apart. Compression looked terrible. And I was like, wow. wow. So anyways, I apologize if you've seen that preview. But um, I just had to make a preview because I never get to make previews. And I, and I like adding music whenever YouTube doesn't copyright strike me. <laughs> Good point, Scott Gust. Yes. So there we go. That's why I like Scott Gust. You're going to find entertainment there for your ears and your eye holes. So yeah, check him out, especially his Chimera stuff if you're a massive fan of No Man's Sky. And like he said, he said that, you know, he uses these mods just to see what sort of procedural greatness can come out of No Man's Sky. And he's unlocked a freaking bevy of, of freaking greatness when it comes to the actual engine. I mean, these mods are just amplifying parts of what's already there. So 
pretty darn freaking awesome stuff. Let's just keep clicking back until it gets back to my channel wall. Okay, that's a lot of backs, isn't it? That's a lot of backs. Okay, you know what? I'm going to hold control this time. It opens it in another window. Yeah, that would have been clever, Steve. Right, so let's hit up Rayrod. Guess what Rayrod does? He also does mods. And he's working on something pretty darn freaking awesome. He's been working on this multiverse for quite some time. Look, this video was a year ago. But he has uploaded a few things here that are only like a few days ago. In fact, here you go, NMS Debugger, Biome Color Planet Editor, and all sorts of other dev tools that he's working on to do with his mod. But I'm just going to hit on up this Infinite Colors algorithm for his multiverse. In fact, his multiverse trailer is pretty darn freaking something special. It's a shame that that's not at the top of his page because it'd be a little bit hard for me to actually oh here we go here's a preview teaser trailer let's hit that one up because i think that one's going to get your drawers dropping so here we go let's hit that one up how long is it four minutes we're just going to hit it up here we go people are you ready for this this is freaking insane stuff so here we are let's um let's hit that put that in another tab as well Oh, it's even done tiles now. Cool. So over there on the rocks, it looks like there's actual gold sort of elements sticking out. And the way that the gold sort of came out the ground there is like a, a, a formation is very much in keeping to the old vanilla styles, isn't it, really? So here you can see that there's very sort of there's a vast difference in the patches of coloration to grass and the multi sort of tunes in color that you're getting. And again, this was very much vanilla. We used to get stuff like this happening in vanilla. And what I like is Rayrod has taken a lot of the stuff that was in vanilla and merged it into current iteration to give some very unique sort of feels to the biomes in his multiverse. Now this isn't the trailer that I saw before. The trailer I saw before had giant fauna in it and all sorts of other stuff and uh, flora and all sorts of gnarly things. But it does go to show what can be done with some mods and Ray Rods is freaking awesome with his mods. So we actually went on Cobra TV the other, well, about two years ago when Cobra TV was still doing his podcasts and that. And some of the things that he done was just 
mind-blowingly awesome. Some of the stuff that he was actually talking about, just another level when it comes to modding. The guy's a freaking genius. OK, so we've got Tharex next. Let's head on up. Tharex, let's have a quick look at her. Awesome. So, I, admittedly, I haven't watched too much of Farrick stuff for some time. You can see here whether I've actually hit the bell on stuff. So it's just whether it pops up on my feed a lot of the time. Yeah, I've got notifications on the channels that I watch or essentially watch. But then I've got sort of like sub ones that if it pops up, it pops up. Now, I look, the stuff that was done six days ago, but that, you know, it's Genshin Impact. We got this, which was two months ago, which is probably why I haven't seen anything from him for a little while. But I do like his approach, and it is quite relaxed, and it's 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 a joy to watch. So here we go. Absolutely epic but design. Displate. <laughs> nice. There's nothing on there for Elden Ring yet, though. Hold on. Have I already watched this? Because right near the end. OK, so this is Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, I, I think I had this in my watch list, and I think I watched some of it in the background while I was working. So, yeah, it's not No Man's Sky, and I don't think he talks in this at all. But, yeah, people like gameplay sometimes without any, any voices in. I mean, I watched it when I was working, so there is that. So, yeah, hold on. This isn't him. This isn't freaking him. It jumped to a different bloody video, didn't it? All right. Great, plays you an advert and then throws you off. All right, so what's this one then? Okay, well, landing here on the night side, I this is more like it. The nice green atmosphere. It's kind of cool. This one doesn't seem as bad as some of the other desert worm planets they threw us to. This one's okay. Somewhat tolerable. Let's cash in our rewards. We're phase three complete. Got more inventory. We're going to go ahead and put them here because we got all this technology here, anyways. And then we're going to do water jets. Okay. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you the quality there, people. Mainly because at the moment I am streaming and uploading right now at the highest resolution that I possibly can. So a lot of this video feedback that you're seeing and the examples that I'm playing, you're probably seeing in something like 320p or something weird like that because my bandwidth is right at the peak of what it can freaking handle. So me playing you these videos, it's more about the audio, but the visual quality, you're going to get much better visual quality over on their channel. You can see there that the actual quality of this goes well above what I could actually play back right now and actually get away with without my computer just melting. So that all my internet just jumping out the window and moving away. So yeah, uh, there's that. So yeah, pretty cool. The video is live. Uh, yeah, that was a weird one, wasn't it? That was a bit of a weird one. I don't know what happened there. I mean, I, yeah, was that was that Farrax actually live right then? I don't know whether it was. I don't know why that actually played. You saw the video I clicked on. We got an advert and then bang, it went and started doing Horizon Zero Dawn. I don't know what that was all about. But there we are. Random YouTube shizzle that happens every now and again, people. Right, OK, well, it's come out of there. So that's Farrix. Awesome, awesome content creator. A joy to watch. And I'd say NMS Fantasy is, it, yeah, it... Again, I, I believe that they do it the odd, the odd sort of mods and things like that as well. So yeah, let's let's just hit let's just hit this. Let's just hit up this one here. So this was five days ago, and they've done some pretty darn weird mods. I saw one where I think there's loads of sandworms that come out at once. You know, like Emergence. It was like that before Emergence. So there we go. Let's hit this up. Go. On. Right, well, I think I'm going to turn that down just in case it's copyrighted because it sounds like it might be because it was a bit too groovy to be freaking free, wasn't it? Let's face it. So, yeah, like I say, they're another modder and they do some very cool sort of fantasy sort of stuff. I mean, look, <laughs> look at the actual intro screen. That's freaking insane. Let's make it full screen, but it's not going to, you're not going to get the quality so much there. But yeah, pretty darn freaking sweet. And, yeah, they've added quite a lot of visual sort of improvements, but they've added in a lot of craziness too. So I think what was going on there was out a sandworm that was jumping out there. Like I mentioned earlier, pretty darn mental. In fact, I might make it smaller because it actually looks slightly better quality smaller, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know whether I could get... Could I get away with making it slightly better than that? Let's go to 48, 480. There we go, that's a little bit better. I don't want to push it any more than that, that really, because, yeah, it will just... Yeah, and I've added old elements back in. So another very interesting modder in the No Man's Sky verse. So, yeah, check them out. Uh, usually they put links to the mods inside of the actual description, I believe. Let's just have a quick look. Uh, dun, 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 dun. 
mods, diddly 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 dum, captured on this. Yeah, so No Man's Sky Fantasy Re Reborn is a full game overhaul, changing every aspect and so forth and so on. Cool, right, nice one. So there's that, pretty darn freaking epic stuff. But again, it's nice to see what the actual algorithms can do and what these modders are unlocking in the game. And we can only but hope that Hello Games picks up some of this and chucks it into our iterations because there's some freaking crazy stuff that they've put in. You know, the whole thing with the multiple sandworms spawning, that's already happened. So it makes you wonder if they did see these sort of mods going on and thought, you know what, let's do that, you know? So yeah, awesome. We've got Dave UK. Dave UK. 10,000 subscribers, Dave UK. Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. All right, well, let's hit on up Dave UK. I, again, this isn't one of the ones that I hit a bell to, so it's just if it pops up, it pops up. But you can see, oh, two years ago. Serious? Really? Dave UK, but you hit your 10... Oh, here we go, two hours ago. So it was some of his better stuff that was up there. So he's done a new channel trailer. You know what, let's hit the bell on this because it looks like he's coming back to No Man's Sky because he did go away for a little. I, I think a lot of the time, if... Yeah, I sometimes unbell things if I'm seeing a lot of stuff coming out that's similar. So let's just hit this. Oh, not another Manscape advert. I had them message me the other day asking me if I wanted to join them in sponsor. I was like, no, thank you. Yep, there we go. And let's hit this up. Sweet. I'm always nervous when I hear music that sounds too good to be free. I think this one's alright though, especially since he's already got 10k subs, so you must be aware of what you can and can't have. And he's got adverts, so this one should be okay. Quite nice, but you can't really hear him talk in this one, can you? Let's just hit up one of his others. Oh, fudge. Uh, Dave UK, where have you gone? Dave UK. I swore I held control, I couldn't have done. Let's just hit videos, and let's just hit up, say, this one. Dum -dum. Huh. Hope your speakers are okay, people. Just Good skimmed on. It's not first wave it's sometimes it becomes a wave too, so it's an early spawn ship. Really, as I said, really easy to find. And uh, before we do kick into the video, if you do like this set, uh, please scroll behind me. Check out the video posted. Sweet! So that's Dave UK. Awesome guy, got a nice voice. Usually has music in the background, as you could hear there. And it's just a joy to watch. And usually his videos are fairly helpful, and they give you some pretty nice finds. Like that guppy, like that sand type squid, an exotic first wave there. <laughs> Lots of nice finds in the No Man's Sky verse. Yes, punk and experimental tool. Oh yeah, he's got little red crystals on. It's like he's got a mohawk. I love that, that's really cool. Nice find. Oh look, has he got into how to rip models and 3D print them? I've just put my 3D printer in the garage, but that'd be cool. I'd love to know how to actually rip the model straight out of the game. I've got to rely on people putting them on Thingiverse. So yeah, that's pretty darn sweet. So that's pretty epic, pretty epic stuff. Okay, so we've got Law of Evolution. Oh my days, this guy's a good artist. He's really, really good at art. Let's, uh, let's hit him up. So not only that, he's also a gamer. And he plays a lot of games that I like. So he was playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I mean, look, he's drew all this. All this at the top here, he drew. This is his artwork. This banner is what he drew. I mean, Sean Murray, this little alien dude. Guy's freaking brilliant at drawing. And he has done a lot more building sort of guides as of recently. Um, yeah, I've got him still belled. I still watch his stuff. And uh, yeah, really cool stuff. I mean, he, he done Swords logo. He done freaking Swords logo. The guy's awesome. Check him out. Yeah, so here's some of his Red Dead stuff over here. But here we go. I'll just click on this. Trolls are back in No Man's Sky. I'd be a little bit cautious, though. Uh, I will click this and I will play this. But sometimes he can use slightly more adult language than me. So I, I apologise in advance if you hear the odd swear word. But it, it, it's never against anyone. If you're a content creator, you really need to start... Yeah, let's mute her for a second. Normally I wouldn't skip ads, obviously, people, but there we go. Like his intro. His intro is cool as well. Very short, but flashy. It's cool. Oh, awesome. There he is.
Let me turn him up a bit. So I was talking about trolls in No Man's Sky. Luckily, we haven't got a lot of those, but he does deal with them in quite a humorous type way. So if you do want to watch the rest of that video, let me just uh, grab the link of that. There we go. But yeah, there we go. And oh, I'm not in my... I would have put it into my own chat there. Let's just jump over, back over to my own chat and I'll give you the link there. So let's go into here. There I am live. I've hit me live. I did click you. I'm talking about trolls in No Man's... Sorry about that. And then there we go. Link. Pow! Awesome little guy is uh, Law of Evolution, and I'm fairly sure you're going to have fun over on his channel, because I do. I, I enjoy it because I'm quite arty, though, as well, people. So there's something there for me. I do like playing with Photoshop, as I showed you when I was doing my display stuff. So that's Law of Evolution. So we've done this row here. And you know what? I think because I spent quite a lot of time covering each of these, I might do this each week and spend a little bit longer and just cover six at a time, because we're going to run out fairly quick if I do do two rows and only give them a little bit of an overview. But there we go. I've given you six nice channels there some really arty ones and creative ones with people that do a lot of mods so next week it's going to be people that do a lot of finding so you know lava lamp pidge they, they they come up with some awesome stuff we've got travis that we're going to cover off is an awesome base builder and so is pez so we've got some base builders we've got some no man's sky players as well tricky number one and wolfie the noob greatly underappreciated and underloved channels i mean look at that subscribers they should be well above that because they're both awesome so we're going to be covering those off next week so right i've got a bit of news haven't i for the old playstation vr2 so let's hit that up so here we go if you go over to the playstation.com now this page was created quite late last night and it's it's appeared you can see i'm logged in there so yeah I, if you're after a playstation 5 it's best to log into the sony website and actually sign yourself up for pre-orders well not pre-orders but they put you onto a list of people that they hit up and let them let you know when there's some actual playstation 5s available from them Anyhow, let's scroll down on PlayStation VR 2. Now, in here, it shows you what the controllers look like. There's no beef around that. We all know what the controllers look like because they've been very loose with what the controllers look like, which is a big aspect for VR. I mean, before we had the freaking Move controllers that look like old, old school sort of ice creams. They were shite. Anyhow, yeah. I never see ads, only the content stuff, says Dr. Pong. Well, you must be one of these sort of members to, you know, or you might have a pop-up blocker, who knows. Oh no, no manscaping as a sponsor. So disappointed. I can see your tutorials and reviews so smooth. Yeah, Scottish Rod, yes. Yeah, they're, they're, I do like some of their adverts, though, especially the golf one. Yes, we're at the Twig and Berries golf tournament. Yes, oh, look, he's in the rough and all that sort of stuff. I love their play on words. Their adverts are already golden. I don't think I could do it justice, to be honest, anyway. But no, manscaping, no, nah, you know. You can, you can just put a different attachment on any sort of normal razor anyway and do that sort of thing if you really wanted to. Right, OK, so we've got a lot of stuff here that we already know. We already know that it's got eye tracking, inside out tracking, etc., etc. Maybe even a little bit of augmented shizzle going on, who knows. Single cable connection, which is fantastic, but a lot of people would have liked to have seen it wireless. Yeah, all sorts of stuff with Tempest 3D audio. I quite don't, I don't really mind the single cable because I'm thinking of streaming possibilities. And with a cable, you haven't got any sort of lag or any sort of worry that something's going to run out of battery or power and then again who, who knows about the actual move controllers 
on here. Hopefully they're going to just charge by USB and away you go. Um, but yeah, one cable doesn't really bother me too much. I mean, I've got my own freaking man cave now. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to stand up around here and not smash my frog tank though. That's, that's a worry. You know, or punching over mics or something. I might have to get some clamps for the mics and things. And I don't know how I'm going to read live chat. Hopefully I might be able to see it through a forward facing camera, which they kind of allude to that you've got the forward facing stuff here as well. So we'll see. What it doesn't show you on here though, chums, is what the headset's going to look like. Now you're probably thinking, well, Captain Steve, you're just showing me a load of freaking stuff that we already know. I am, but the fact that it has actually got its own page now means that things are happening Sony side. And there's another little bit of, yeah, you've got the Horizon Call of the Mountain trailer, which we've all seen freaking countless times, I'd imagine, if you're into this. But down at the bottom here, there was a button just here and it said sign in first. I clicked sign in and then it had sign up. And you can sign up to be on the pre-orders list. So they're going to email me now because I've actually hit yes. Yeah, I hit the button that was there and now I've got this. Thank you. Stay tuned for future PSVR2 news delivered straight to your email inbox. So it's actually tied to your PlayStation login. I'm going to get an email as soon as I can order one of these. And hopefully I have got a little bit stashed away in a secret pocket just for this. And um, yeah, I want to be bringing VR back to my channel. I'm hoping to hit up with Damash Smash, good at game for the people that know Damash Smash. He's playing an awesome game right now that I really want to get into. Yeah, I forgot the blinking name of it. It just went out my freaking ear. Yeah. Uh, Zenith, Zenith, that's it. It came back to me. Yeah, freaking brain fart. I don't know what that's all about. Well, I do actually. I might do a video on that at some point, but it's probably going to get me demonetized and cancelled. But yeah, anyhow, yeah, pretty, pretty cool though. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty nice man cave, Steve. Well, thank you, Adam Mac. It's looking rather wonderful. Um, I'm hoping to get a bit more lighting going on here. Actually, I've got a light here, a little touch lamp. Let's see if. There we go. Make that nice and bright. There we go. But I want to get a few more things on here. Oh, that's made me a lot brighter, hasn't it? Yeah, I should have turned that on earlier. Whoopsie. Okay, awesome. So yeah, my little man cave is coming along quite nice. But yeah, I want to get there's some night lights on there as well. Excellent. I've asked people ask me what do I want for my birthday because my birthday in February is mid February. Is. Yeah, it's, it's after Valentine's Day, but it's before the end of February. Mid, mid, yeah, mid, mid February. And I've asked my brothers and family, you know, get me stuff for my studio. Yeah, and I gave them a few examples. There's a Pac-Man light, for example, and Pac-Man sort of flashes and the ghost sort of flash and stuff. It's pretty really cool. But there's others as well, like a dragon breathing fire and the, the fire all lights up as a lamp. I'll stick that on there, whatever. I, I don't know which ones are going to get me. I just gave them a whole list and said, there you go, there's some ideas. So let's see what happens. That'd be nice. They're all powered by USB. And I've got loads of USB sockets over there, so pretty nice. Awesome. Cable could be a good sign. Looks like a lot of data flowing backwards and forwards. Yes. Excellent. Eh? Scottish rod. Yeah. yeah I'm going to have to play with that to get that all set up. Jensen Nash in the house. Well, hello there, Jensen. Haven't seen you for a little while, my friend. I hope you're doing good. We prefer a new enhanced expedition or an update for the overall game. Say combat or exploration update. Well, I did say I'm going to do a little bit of speculation. Well, this is sketchy speculation at best. So let's just go on over to the Twitter space. Now, anybody that follows me on Twitter probably knows what I'm already going to say. So if I hit on up here, let's just scroll on down. Hey, I hope loads of smart work. Let's go down here. Now, good old Sean of the Murrays, a little while ago, actually dropped this as a tweet. And here you go. I put Valentine's update. Now the internal branch has been updated. This image share kind of makes sense. Let's just zoom into that a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. There we go. Now, right underneath this, I mean, this is just an image that Sean has found and he's decided to share it out. Now, it's funny that it's a heart shaped nebula and he put this out on the 1st of February. He chose to retweet this on the 1st of February. OK, and it's got a little love heart emoji. Now, normally when Sean tweets out something, it's very rare that he puts an image with the emoji. In fact, it's just the emoji that he normally tweets out. So I don't think this is a massive hint as to what the update might be, but I'm hoping it's at least setting a date for when the update may drop. Now, earlier I was talking about creatures and the fact that they've got a little love heart on them, and they're now like your companion inside of game. And I'm wondering if there is a Valentine's update and it is heart related, and if that is the emoji, 
emoji, then perhaps it might be to do with maybe making the relationship with the pets a little bit more interconnected and integral. It's like a lot of the patch notes have said that they're going to take out freaking hazardous flora. They don't, but perhaps they will in this new patch, maybe. Maybe we might get animal pens for our bases and animal pens for our freighters and things like that. Maybe it's just going to be an enhancement to the animal system. Because in-game at the moment, that's the only place where I really see the heart icon is with your pets. And they are... It did come out in the Companions update. And when you think about Valentine's Day and the way the world is now, where you know, it's not just male and female and stuff, it's companions and life partners. So it sort of ties into that sort of sort of verse. And the fact that the, these ships that he's picked up, they've got like the rainbow light trails as well on them. You know, maybe it's got a little bit more to do with that and the whole companion stuff. Not that I'm promoting bestiality because it's to do with pets. <laughs> God, oh my days. Yeah, I'm just digging a freaking hole now. Digging a hole. <laughs> For fun's sake. But yeah, you get where I'm coming from. It. They're the only companions we've got in games, are our pets. And again, you've got the rainbow light trails there. But you know, all sorts of weirdness going on in people's heads right now, probably. Thanks to me. Sorry, people. But anyway, that's all I can tie it to because in game, the actual. <laughs> The actual icon is a heart for your pets. That's the only freaking thing. Forget the tangent that I just went off on the one. But there we go. So it maybe it's a Valentine's update or maybe it's a hint at the date of when it's going to drop. So maybe around the 14th of February. The only thing is, when is the 14th of February? Let's bring up the old calendar. The 14th of February is a Monday. Now, I honestly don't think they're going to put out a game on the four, well, an update on the 14th on a monday because that's right after a weekend I, normally it's going to be a tuesday or wednesday when they put out updates looking at patterns so I, i'm thinking maybe the 15th or 16th if that is a hint for the release date but we can only but wait and see so yeah yeah <laughs> no man's sky relationships says joseph nash lol maybe relationships with certain factions it could be that it could it could be all sorts couldn't it you know, if it is even a Valentine's update, who it, it probably isn't. But most updates that they've put out in a February have never been big ones. Normally the big ones are towards the end of the year, the final quarter, the Augusts, the Septembers. The only way that I think this might be a big update this year, early part of the year, is you know when we've got given foundations and settlements? Well, in Expedition 3, they gave us the Station Core as a reward, or the Station Override, I should say, as a reward. Yet we can't use it. And part of me, as soon as we got Frontiers and after I played it for a good two weeks, I was like, this doesn't feel like a fully fledged update. It feels like maybe they gave us half of the update and they've held some back. Perhaps there might have been more bugs. They did hire a load of new bug testers and things and games testers. So maybe they gave us Frontiers and Settlements as a part to say, there you go, shut up. <laughs> That's your big update for the year. But it's funny, they didn't actually call it the big update of the year. They just called it another update in the No Man's Sky's Evolution. They didn't go out and say, this is our, this year's big one. And, and go to town with it. They just said this is another update. And it didn't jump up a notch. It didn't jump up to version 4.0, which was half expecting it to if it was a milestone big update. So to me, it feels like last year we didn't get a big milestone update. We got lots of mini updates last year. So I'm wondering, there's a possibility, a strong possibility that we might get something fall outside of their normal calendar schedules this year. Is it going to be February of this, this year? It could, but then I would expect Sean Murray to be going to town with the sort of tweets that he'd be putting out and maybe even a trailer dropping or something a little bit more tease worthy. You know, even Desolation, we got like a little mini tease trailer. So I would have expected something along those lines if there was something happening. But then we have been teased with this station core. We've been teased with this station core for freaking ages now. Yeah. <laughs> who's in the will to live with that one I just hope it's not something that they put there and forgot that it's there you know what I mean so who knows who knows so there's that there's that so there's a lot of stuff going on right now people so yeah I think I've covered off everything now haven't I so I've done my speculation I've done the community spotlight we've covered off the bubble pipes and yeah I think we're good at the moment so what have I got going on this week so I put out a video today and let's just go back over to my channel for a second so if I go back over here and go to videos 
One of them's going to autoplay, isn't it? No, it's not. So I put this one out today. So this is the logo ship for Chad Sparks, which is pretty darn cool. If I go over to my channel, so if I go to YouTube Studio and I hit up my videos over here, content, I have got a couple of unlisted videos here. So I've got that one there is Ricey's one. And I've also got another one here, which is... Sazable's ship that she found. So I've got two unlisted videos to go live so far. Any of my members can already see them. That's why they've already got a view count and they've got a couple of comments on there. Because yes, my members get early access. A lot of the ones that sign up for early access do, that is. So there's a few different tiers. If you hit join, you'd see the tiers. So if you do want early access and you, you can't wait for new Captain Steve content, that's a good way to jump on in and also support my channel in buying lovely weird stuff from my room. Because a lot of what I earn goes straight back into this hobby. Because um, it is a hobby, basically, and it's one that I thoroughly enjoy. So I want to say a massive great big thank you if you do jump in and join and do that sort of stuffage. But there we go. So, yeah, got those two videos coming up in the week. Elden Ring is coming out fairly soon. Um, should we get an actual countdown for when Elden Ring's coming to my channel? Let me just turn back on my old PlayStation. And let's just hit on up my PlayStation on here. Cool. And I've just got to wait for my screen to refresh. And uh, you guys have got a lovely black screen there now, haven't you? Yes, that's because I just turned on that. So let's go to PS5 game. And let's see if it comes up. Here we go. Brilliant. Let's um, turn that down because I think you're going to get two streams if otherwise. PlayStation Anno sound. So there we go. Yep, sweet. You can probably hear that. Bit offline. And let's, uh, let's go and have a look when Elden Ring comes out. I think it comes out on the 20... Oh, fudge. Yeah, I've... I've, I've my memory is terrible now, people. I'm gonna. I think I will do a video on it because I, I think there's other people in the same boat as me, to be honest. Elden Ring, Elden Ring. Sweet in library. You can see I've pre-ordered it. 18 days, 18 days, and five hours. God, it's going slow. Yeah, things always do go slow when you're waiting for it, though, don't they? But I can't wait to bring that to my channel. And uh, yeah, so, oh, and Monday, tomorrow, tomorrow we're doing random game Mondays with Scottish of the Rods, Dave and Dad's Game Time, Pat. And hopefully we're going to be playing another Dauntless run. And I really like Dauntless. Dauntless is great fun. So yeah, hopefully join us for that one on Monday. So there we go, people. That's pretty much what I've got early part of the week. And uh, Tuesday, I'm, I'm probably still going to be doing my No Man's Sky live stream. I might go around and try and use those bubble pipes for something else or come up with something gnarly. You can use them for, for when I'm playing about. But there we go, people. That's everything from me. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. So I'm going to be ending off now. Let me just have a quick scan through some of these um messages let's have a quick look i'm a loner dotty a rebel peewee says dr pong right oh i love the worms that come out of the ground in the expedition into the main game yes i was thinking that too they're such a nice model aren't they it's too nice to just have a throwaway in just one update you know in the emergence so i'm wondering whether if we ever do get the void maybe they might be a creature that actually is in some biomes inside of the void because that'd be freaking great to see them re-arrive wouldn't it Right, so we've got Bow Chaser. I would suggest a resizable alphabet, but for the abuse of that, yeah, I get what you're saying there, Bow Chaser. I was thinking it'd be nice to have a multi-tool module that lets you spray paint walls, you know, like in Concrete Genie or something like that. It'd be awesome in VR just to be able to do artwork on your walls. But, you know, people can report it, can't they? You can report bases. So I, I, I think it would be fine, you know? Yeah, so there we are. Okay, yeah, Bubble Ducks. Heck yes. Later, everyone, says Adam Mac. Hold on, let's just scroll up a bit further. Oh, we've got Nova Game in there saying, hopefully a way to have more than six companions. Maybe a storage system. Yeah, so there's the companions at the moment, because we've been gifted to the worm and also that little monstrosity, that only leaves four slots for actual creatures that you found in the verse. I would have liked to have seen them up it probably a dozen, you know, 12 pets per person. But because you can update the pets... When you first got these pets and you used to hatch them and modify them, it used to change the parents on the planet as well. It was seriously broken. They fixed that. But then I'm thinking to myself, well, when you actually take those creatures and you're separating them from their planet and their birth parents and you're only changing that creature that has to be saved to the player's save, that must be taking quite a lot of save data on their actual servers. Even though it is just a number string that sets what that creature is, it's got to do it six times for each player. When you put that across multiple saves and a lot of players across different platforms 
That's freaking mental, isn't it? When you think of it that way. So I don't know whether they will ever up it, but I hope they do. I hope they do. I really do. Right, anyway, let's uh, carry on scrolling up. Okay, so, oh, Novo Gamer uh, dropped us five pounds earlier. The US, thank you very much. Five US. Awesome. Thank you very much there. So, yeah, no man's sky relationships. Turning 25? No, <laughs> sadly not. I wish, Dr. Pong. No. Um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like, in, well, I'm in my 40s. I'm not quite in my middle 40s yet. No. So early 40s I am. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good at all. Yeah, awesome. Uh, would you prefer a new enhanced... Exp oh, that's what got me talking about my sort of speculation, isn't it, Jensen Nash? We've got Archangel there. Hey, Cap, sorry I keep missing your messages. Flying back tomorrow to the UK. It's been a hectic week. Well, once you're back in the UK and you're back on this time zone, hopefully we can hit it up and I can give you one of these pets. Yeah, so you're after one of the, uh, you know, the, the griffins or a dragon. But you can see that Archangel is actually a member. So I have said, you know, if you do miss the streams, he's been out of the country, been doing all sorts and working away. He just hasn't managed to join me or Miyogi to get one of these pets. So I said, you know, hit me up uh, since you're a member and I'll try and sort you out. So there we go. Anyhow, I think we're about good. Oh, Dr. Pay Pong has got a YouTube premium. Nice. Christopher, 07. Well, 07, everyone. Have a very good remaining weekend, whatever you can do with the last few remaining hours. Yeah, hope you have fun. Right, so I'm going to be ending off. So let's uh, go down here and I'm um, ending now. So take care, everyone. Goodbye and thank you very much for watching and being here. Heck yes. Take care.